Hey, I'm Rob from JustTheRoad.com. I'm going to show you how to play Battlecrest Fellwoods. This is a game for two players, plays in about 20 minutes, is designed by Dustin Dobson and Milan Zivkovic and is published by Buttonshy. You control a hero, fighting another hero using your abilities, the landmarks on the battlefield and possibly a minion to hopefully defeat your opponent and win the game. So for more how to play videos hit the subscribe button and don't be shy. On to setup. Randomly place the six map cards in this pattern making sure all the landmarks are in the same orientation. The pattern is shown in the rulebook. Players pick a hero and take the relevant set of cards. Place the action cards in a vertical row with a health card above the position shown, max health side up. For example, Mutiny's health card starts above and to the left of their leftmost action card. Choose a random start player. The start player puts their hero on the 8th space as shown on the grid, near to the highest number of the two landmarks at the hero's starting position. The landmark number is shown next to the landmark name on the card. The other player places their hero on the other starting hero space. If a player has a minion, they start on the relevant M space next to their hero on the full health side, shown with the full heart. Starting with the start player, players take turns taking two actions. Both of these actions must change the game state, either by moving, causing damage, or changing the orientation of an action card or a landmark card. Heroes and minions, collectively known as warriors, can perform actions on their own warrior cards. Only heroes can perform abilities on other cards, such as action cards and certain landmark abilities. The first ability is to move, up to the movement value orthogonally one space at a time. The movement value is the sum of movement symbols on all active, meaning upright, action cards. For example, if just this one card was exhausted, Mutiny would be able to move three spaces. A minion's movement is shown on the minion card. Movement must stay adjacent, either diagonally or orthogonally, to a landmark and can move through allies but not enemies. Players can move through a shortcut on a landmark if they are on that edge of the card. For example, moving through this shortcut, the hero will be able to move directly to the space above or to the left of the landmark. You must fully move one warrior before moving another, so this player can move the hero mutiny or the minion rig first and then may move the other after. If a player moves or is moved adjacent to a map hazard, they take one undefendable damage. This includes when a hazard later becomes active next to a warrior due to the landmark card flipping over. More on that later. Heroes take damage by moving their health card one space right per damage. Flipping it over and it reaches the end of the track as shown on the health card. Minions are flipped when damaged no matter the amount of damage caused and they are killed and removed on the board when damaged on their flipped side. If a warrior starts their movement next to a movement map bonus, plus one is applied to the movement for each symbol, then the landmark is flipped over as shown by the arrow on the symbol. The second action is to activate. Choose an active action, exhaust it, and resolve the action. If a card has multiple abilities, you may skip one or resolve both in order. Let's look at them now. Attack lets you attack one or more enemies. First declare the attacker, any valid targets, and the combat value. When targeting, the target must be within range, which depends on the type of attack. The cross swords is short range, this is orthogonally adjacent. For example, the first attack of the Arkena's Astral Strike deals 4 damage to an orthogonally adjacent enemy. The axe is medium range, orthogonally and diagonally adjacent. For example, the second attack of the Astral Strike deals 2 damage to an orthogonally or diagonally adjacent enemy. The bow is long range, which is a target at least 2 spaces away and up to the max range counting orthogonal spaces. For example, the warning shot from Mutiny will attack an enemy 2 to 4 orthogonal spaces away for 2 damage. For multiple targets, the player chooses unique targets up to the number shown. For example, Arkena's Aether Storm hits up to 2 targets within range. You'll notice that it does 2 damage plus a purple symbol. This is a crest. For each relevant primed crest, meaning the crest of the correct colour on the top of exhausted action cards, you add plus 1 to that ability. For example, the player has 1 exhausted purple crest, this will do 2 plus 1, 3 damage. There is also an active crest on the damage side of the health card that is constantly active when revealed. For each landmark effect adjacent to the attacker when attacking, they are all activated simultaneously and then flipped over. If the fist is adjacent, add plus one to the attack value per fist symbol. The bow adds plus one range to a long range attack per bow symbol. All of these map bonuses are applied simultaneously and apply to the first target of the attack only. A defending hero may exhaust one action card to defend with the defense value. For example, exhausting Stellar Swing blocks one damage, plus one for each primed yellow crest. If they are next to a map bonus with a shield, they gain plus one defense per shield icon and flip the landmark over. Minions defend with their own value plus any map bonus if applicable. And subtract the defense total from the attack and that's how much damage the attack deals. Now back to the other activated abilities. March. Simply move the number of spaces shown following the normal movement rules. 
Force, move another warrior, either an ally or enemy, within the number of spaces shown. They may be moved through another warrior, even an enemy. If next to the Force map bonus, add plus one Force per icon showing to the total Force movement and flip the landmark. The final ability uses these stars that are used for powered abilities which are used immediately on hero cards or adjacent landmarks. Arkenna, Mutiny and Rig all have abilities that can be used as powered actions. Landmark locations are activated from the hero in short range of that landmark. For example, the Temple Ruins have a powered action that allows the hero to march two spaces. Each powered action on a hero or a landmark can only be used once per turn. The third action a player could take is to Prime. Simply exhaust an unexhausted action card to prime that card's crest. The fourth action is to Refocus. Flip all exhausted action cards over and turn them back up to make them all active. Play continues until one player defeats the opposing hero to win the game and that's how you play Battle Crest Fellwards. Thanks for watching, remember to like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when a new video goes live. You can follow me on Insta, Twitch and YouTube at Jester the Rogue and find the blog at JesterTheRogue.com. I've been Rob aka Jester the Rogue and I'll see you soon.